I've had the great pleasure of working with Pat Addis through the Broadway Association. Um, she is really one of our stars in that she just keeps things so wonderfully fresh on Broadway and also off Broadway that encourages more and more visitation to New York City. And Broadway um, is absolutely the most wonderful place for tourism. TTS booth, and I just uh, thought it was very timely because they are celebrating their 40th anniversary, in fact, yesterday. So it's in most of the American newspapers today. The tourism industry, as you probably know, New York is breaking records. They welcomed over 51 million visitors last year. You know, when I was the head of tourism, I could never pick favorites, of course, but I could only deal with statistics. People from China and a lot of countries like musicals. Mm -hmm. That's easier for them to understand. Publicity on shows like Wicked, Lion King is still the most wonderful fantasy for children. Um, more and more people in our country want to sit in premium seats. So you're not going to get that at TKTS booth. Off-Broadway is much more innovative. Uh, uh, for instance, there was a show, Murder Ballad, which they reconfigured the theater that things are going to change. They're going to have to if we want to keep young audiences coming. So go off-Broadway. Tell your people to go off-Broadway. It's not Broadway. It's off-Broadway. <laughs> the Lincoln Center has a student um, rate, and there are some places that do give discounts for students. Why it's so important to get young people in, and I was talking about the new wave of directing where the kids love this interactive part of the There's theater. a lot of alternative theater. Um, I do think that there is a different model that is coming along with innovative theater. No doubt that Tom Hanks sells tickets. Bette Midler is selling out. There will be some London imports coming in.